Well, it is 18th today, 18th of November, just before 11, and I am having issues with my car, for instance. Hear that? Doesn't sound good, does it? Try it again. Definitely not firing on all four. Not idling at all. We'll wait for it. It'll die in a second. It's nothing but unburnt fuel and oil coming out of that pipe. It's black as, so my guess is I need to do a service. I've got an oil filter, the grease gun, with the um, thing in my project on the end, I forget the name of it, the filter for it, some nice new oil, and all my tools. So, let's have some fun. Um, when you put these things back in, mm -hmm. I generally don't put the plastic covers back on. Oh, the tops? Yeah. yeah. It keeps the heat in there. I mean, all, all, all uh, it cooks the coils. Yeah, all, all they're supposed to do is reduce tapping noise. But all that happens is it traps the heat in there and the plastic dies a lot quicker and yeah. plugs snap. Oh. Just, um, it, was, it was doing the whole running along beautifully and then did this whole acting like running on three cylinders instead of four. Um, every every now and again, just as a, as a glimpse, the engine light would go back out and it would act like it was running on four again and then that was it. Well, I say we needed to do the plugs anyway. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. Done coil pack. Yeah. Okay. So, what do we do there? Can you just get another coil pack in? Uh, just get another coil pack. I just want to take that number. Yeah. We, we can get one up for you. But uh, the cheapest thing to do would be to go to pick a part and get into any other Mitsubishi GBI. So Mitsubishi Redenham, Galant, okay. uh, any of the ones. Uh, like the like a Nick Rose's car tomorrow. Yeah, it's all that shit. Any GBI. Yeah. And you can go and buy one of these big parts in here. We'd probably pay something like a hundred dollars second hand through the trade because they have to guarantee the part. Sure. Whereas pick a part, you take it and put it in what you want there. Okay. Um, so it's up to you. Yeah, it's something I'm quite capable of doing. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. I mean, we, we could put a new one in, but the new one can't be enough towards about two hundred and fifty. But like I say, take a photo of that number. Yeah. And then we uh, look at the top on the GIs, so they've got the same number. But I'd, I'd say it's. I'd say it's the coil pack. If you're extremely unlucky with the injector, you. Yeah. Because there's nothing sort of fucked out when you put that off. 
cross-examination in that slot sparks that has to be there. It's just, it's, you know, we're down to two things, and I've, I've not ever replaced the zipper, but I've replaced quite a few more of those. Okay. Well, and again, the heat's probably not quite helpful. What happens is the plug dies first, and then this is trying to create 40,000 volts for something that's short of circuit. That's exactly right. Yeah. It sparks probably about 100 times in this case. Yeah, that's it, I've had enough. Which is why I gave that sort of all of a sudden and then yeah, a little bit of live thing. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm just changing the world picture in front of your bar as well. Okay. Yeah, well, guys, well, um, I've been to the mechanics and he has said to me to check the coil packs, which I've done. Unplugged each of the individual coil packs while it was running. One of them seems to have not made a difference. Um, we've changed the spark plugs, so we knew it was something there. And what do you know? There is a coil pack. Okay, that's where the spark plug goes on the end there. And if you look around the end, coming round like a coronal mass ejection. Boom! One arc mark right there. Okay, that's where it's arcing all the voltage, 40,000 volts, is coming off of this coil pack. And because it can't go to the dud spark plug that it had, it blows out the side. Alright, so, I'm just going to go into Pick Apart and try and get a new one. To buy a new one of these, about $200 or 150 to $200, I was quoted by the mechanic to, um, to get a new one um, in this fitting, which I'm quite capable of doing to 10mm nuts. So anyway, we are now going to go for a drive in town. I am borrowing my mother-in-law's wonderful car and we're going to go have some fun at Pick Apart. Forgery. The D shall audit a forged instrument which is interfering my rights. See exhibit C. And then he order. The D shall was in bad faith. I as man believe that in order to settle this case, it is necessary proper for I a man to be made whole. Hi all. Mark here. Well, you would believe that should I? I'm in at pick apart. See, there's my stamp. I've been to pick apart. And um 
there's the dud one, which they mark with little blue markers just to let you know that it's I've brought it in. They search everything apart from your person because that would be just rude. Um, but I went in there looking for one of these, right? You can see this is our one. It's the one with the, the blown out piece there on the end. See that there? All right. Now I went through every Mitsubishi in the place. Um, and I mean two rows of Mitsubishi cars, I lifted every bonnet, couldn't find it. Right at the end was a Mitsubishi same as ours. And I'm sitting there thinking, cool, lift the bonnet. To my dismay, all of the, all of the coil packs have been removed. And I'm sitting there going, what the fuck, you know, that really just ticks me off. So, um, just on the off chance, I decided to have a look inside the Dion, and there, sitting on the passenger seat, was the coil pack. So, all right, just to show it's not not a trickery. Um, this one has no blowout point on its lead, so I'm hoping it works. This cost me eighteen dollars. All right, now the mechanic quoted me one hundred and fifty to two hundred to get a new one. All right, eighteen dollars. It's cost me. Nothing, I didn't even have to pull it all out because it was already taken out sitting on the bloody passenger seat. So again, I'm hoping it works. Let's go see. Here we are, about to change the dud one. Um, things arced out to the good one. So, again, not rocket science, just to put this in. It's just a matter of plugging the new one in. That's brilliant. Okay, so the um, so it was the, uh, the third of the uh, four coil packs. It's, um, again, as you can see from the old one where it was arcing out there on the lead, this white point. Okay, so what's happening is the sparks jumping from there over to the chassis of the of the motor, and it's deading out, so it's not getting spark to that spark plug. Now the, the motor is running beautifully, it's running on all four, car fixed, $18 and a bit of goodwill from the local mechanic because he could have easily have charged me a couple of hundred for doing that and I wouldn't have known any the wiser. So yet again, it goes to show that if you've just got a little bit of intent to save a buck and know what you're doing, or even don't know what you're doing, I mean it was just process of elimination. Change the spark plugs, the only other thing it could be is spark leads or these things or the fuel injector. But there's definitely fuel getting there because there wasn't because it was a black as pipe, meaning the fuel and the oil was, was not being burnt off. Normal pipe should burn grey. Let's go and have a look, see what the pipe looks like. Even there, the pipe's starting to go grey again. All the excess is starting to burn off. Same time tomorrow, it'll all look nice, all nice and grey again. Anyway, that's how it's done.